River City's classic rock. There goes Eagles here. It's 93.7 The River. Dog and Joe show on a Thursday. We got more cash coming up 35 minutes away. We're going to pay some more bills. And hopefully this can go off without a hitch because uh, joining us on the phone right now, we have Blake Young from the Food Bank and Family Services. And uh, Blake, can you can you hear us okay? Hey. Uh, please welcome to the show uh, Blake Young with Family Services, or I'm sorry, Food Bank and Family Services. And you have run this thing, Blake, since the 70s. Am I right on that? No, uh, <laughs> I, I've been running the place since the, since the mid-90s, but... Uh, uh, no, that's good. Don't don't age me any more than I am, please. <laughs> okay. So the the food bank and family services has been around since the seventies, but you've been driving this thing since the nineties. Uh, my father Madigan uh, in nineteen seventy six, and we've just been blessed to be able to grow and be uh, be part of the community for for a long, long time. So explain to everyone how important it is right now because we've been supporting you and we're trying to help the community out here at iHeart and at the River. Uh, one in five children in Sac County was hungry before this whole thing started. Now you got the school closures. You've got job losses, obviously. So now even more families, seniors, children, there's even a bigger need right now because of the pandemic. Yeah, I appreciate that. The, the, the spike, the demand has gone through the roof. And and uh, you're right. So Sacramento County is actually higher than the state and national average, ironically, in the farm to floor capital of the universe. So we, you know, pre-COVID, we were serving about 150,000 people through 220 agencies per month. And the numbers increased almost, more, well, more than 50%. And uh, what we're finding is more and more people that are coming through our mega distributions or our partner agency distributions are brand new. In fact, at one of our mega distributions on Tuesday at Encina High School, we served 4,000 people in two hours. And many, many folks that I talked to had never had never even reached out to a food program before. So this, this situation with people wow. being uh, displaced from work, they have their children home now, everyone's eating more. Uh, it's just, you know, already the cost of living here made it very difficult to put nutritious food in people's bellies. But now it's even more stressful. Producers and local people making huge donations right now to you and your organization specifically? We are. I mean, uh, we're, we're obviously mindful of, of the volume and our inventory simply because we've already, we've already pivoted post-COVID. We know that people have been displaced will need our help for a long time. So this spike or demand, if you will, is going to be going through the end of the year. So the, the particular program that you're referencing is a federal government program that will pay local farmers to produce, to give to food banks throughout the state. So it, it is going to be a boost. They have not picked partners, but we'll work with some local farms uh, to be able to get really high quality, fresh produce into people's hands. Yeah. Uh, it is really awesome. It's twofold because it does provide uh, or facilitate the need for all the hungry mouths, and it gives uh, the farmers and local growers a chance to earn in a time where they're having a, a rough go at things, too. So, Blake, if you could, we're not going to keep you too long, but what can our River Rockers and the people here locally, what types of foods, what types of packaging, what kind of things are you asking for in donation? What can they bring you? Yeah, I appreciate that. So it, it, it's mostly money donations right now, and here's why. We, you know, we're, we're a hub, so we deal in semi-truck loads. Not that we don't want folks uh, to help us out picking their orange trees and bringing them to us, but that's more at the agency level. Right now with COVID, we're trying to purchase as much food and ramp up our operations. There's a huge cost, and if you donate a dollar to Sacramento Food Bank and Family Services, we can produce five meals with that one dollar because of our buying power and the fact that most of our labor is volunteer based and we get a lot of donated food. So one dollar equals five meals. We encourage folks to go to our website, sacramentofoodbank.org and donate. Wow, that that really is awesome when you, you think about it. Put that into perspective. That's so you get five meals man. for for one dollar. Uh, that's absolutely awesome how you can put a, a price tag on it and show us just how far that $1 donation goes. And, I mean, everyone can do the math. I mean, come on, 5 bucks, 10 bucks. that's an enormous donation. And yeah. if we could rally the community and get everyone, you know, if everyone did 5 10 20 
Uh, that is good. So you guys are pretty resourceful at feeding these people and really stretching the dollar. Again, on the phone with us, we've got Blake Young. He's from uh, the uh, Sacramento Food and Family Services, Sacramento Food Bank, rather, and Family Services dot org if you want to go check out the website can people donate money uh online through the website do you have it all set up so they can easily do that blake oh you bet you can go right to our uh, our website sacramentofoodbank.org and right smack dab in the middle of our website home pages you can donate it's very easy uh and again we just emphasize that we can if there's a multiplier effect so again a dollar people say you, you'll take a dollar you you darn right we can because not only do we want that dollar, but we can turn it into five meals. There's no donation too small. In fact, the backbone of our organization and most food banks across the country are small donations from very kind people with average means that give every month because they believe in the mission. the time, again, you can uh, donate. All you got to do is visit Sacramento Food Bank and Family Services.org. You can make your donations there. And you heard Blake, no amount too small to donate. So get the donations in. As you can imagine, right now, very, very needed. Uh, we appreciate it. Blake Young, keep up the good work. Have a great Thursday. Hey, thank you. You guys too. Thanks for the opportunity. All right. Take care. Thanks, there he Blake. goes. Uh, Blake Young from Sacramento Food Bank and Family Services. As you know, you may have heard us or you can see online at 937theriver.com. We have all the details there. We've been talking about this because when you think about one in five children prior the pandemic, prior COVID-19, they were already hungry. You had this on top of it. School's out. You know, you've got families out of work. You've got the seniors. Everyone's got to stay at home. They're having a tough time getting out and getting food, even if they do have the means so if you can make the donations, jump on 937theriver.com.